Hello Power Rangers Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to the next episode of Lightning Storm. This is the series where lightning always strikes twice as we talk about everything that has happened in the past week for the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Now, and it's another surprising turn of events. It's been now two weeks since the last Fan First Friday and one week since the Power Morphicon online reveal of the COG 2-pack. But we actually do have some news to discuss here today. Now obviously this is going to be building off of the video I uploaded on Thursday night which was the surprise emergency episode because of the fact that Amazon Australia decoded the Wave 10 listings, so now we know who's in Wave 10. So I have some more information about Wave 10 to discuss here today in relation to the Amazon product descriptions, as well as some other stuff. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. We'll go ahead and start with the Wave 10 stuff. So on Thursday night, as I discussed in episode 75 of Lightning Storm, the Amazon Australia website had updated the codes for Wave 10 to decode them. So we don't have any pictures of these figures yet. We don't even have a release date or anything from Amazon Australia, although it should be sometime around September, October in that kind of range. Uh, I have a feeling that they'll probably announce them and then like Amazon or Target or whatever will get them in like September and then Pulse will say like November 1st or something. That's probably, that's just what I expect because uh, that's kind of what they do with this at this point now. Uh, Pulse is always so hilariously late compared to everything else. Uh, so we'll see what actually ends up happening with when Wave 10 comes out. Uh, also we'll see when it ever gets revealed. I imagine Wave 10 will probably be revealed. I would just say sometime during July, if not definitely during August, so we'll see it in the next month, month and a half for now, from, from now or so. But let's look at the product descriptions and they say exactly what we got going on with these figures. So when we take a look at Dino Charge Green, we'll start with him. He comes with exactly what you expect him to come with. We don't, like I said, don't have any pictures, so I'll just kind of put like a mock-up Photoshop of uh, what I'm talking about here on screen. So obviously you're going to get Dino Charge Green. He's going to be coming with the same Dino Charge Morpher as the other ones have and the Dino Charge Saber as well. So he'll have the exact same weapons that both Tyler and Chase had. He's also going to have two swappable hands, probably the same ones as the other Dino Charge figures, I don't know. Uh, the hands are really the uncertain part here. We know every figure is gonna come with two hands, but we don't know what hands they're gonna come with. Uh, so I can guess probably the typical Dino Charge hands. An effect piece of some kind, I don't know, that's another thing we have to guess on, is what type of effect piece we're getting. So we're getting one effect piece with him, two hands, and then also a Riley head, uh, just like you would expect. So, you know, like I said, exactly what you would expect with that. Uh, moving on to In Space Pink, we're going to be getting her satellite stunner, so we are going to be getting all of the main In Space Rangers are going to have all of their weapons, which is fantastic. We're also going to have her with the typical Astro Blaster that we've seen with all the other In Space Rangers, two swappable hands, an effect piece, probably for the satellite stunner, I don't know, stunner, I don't know exactly which one uh, that will come with. And also a Cassie head, so we are going to get that with her. Moving on to Zeo Yellow, this was one that people were trying to figure out because the product description had said it was going to come with five accessories. People were like, oh, is this where we're going to get Rocky's Tonfas? It's not where we're getting Rocky's Tonfas because the other product description has exactly what she's coming with. She's coming with the Zeo Laser Pistol and Laser Pod Sword that we've had with all of the other Zeo Rangers, although who knows what paint application version of it we'll get. Every single Zeo Ranger has had a different paint application on those uh, accessories. We're going to be getting her two nunchuck weapons, which this has listed as the Double Clubs. I believe that's probably the name. I don't know the exact name of the Zeo weapons off the top of my head, but she will come with both of her nunchucks. Uh, so that's actually good to know because that means Zeo Pink and Red and Blue. In, or not blue, that's the whole point of this. Green, red, pink, and yellow all have their weapons and we know that blue will get them eventually. So we will have a complete Zeo team with their weapons soon enough. But at least Zeo Yellow makes four out of five where this was not a problem from the get-go, so that's great. She's also gonna have an effect piece, two swappable hands, and a Tanya head. So exactly, you know, what you would expect. Moving on to my boy, the Phantom Ranger, the one I'm the most excited for in this wave. You're going to be getting two swappable hands, two effect pieces, which I'm not exactly sure which one. I'm assuming one for his blaster and one for something else, I assume. I don't know what, though. Uh, obviously, no head for him. We don't know who the Phantom Ranger is, so why would we, there be a head? Now, the last thing, it says it comes with the Phantom Laser. Now, if you search Phantom Laser, you'll see a picture of him holding this kind of blaster-like weapon that he did use during Turbo, that I guess is officially the Phantom Laser. We know 
from the May 14th Fan First Friday, they showed up this teaser of a Turbo Navigator Blaster, which is commonly associated with the Phantom Ranger and a bunch of other extra forms of media. He never used it in the show, but he used it in Heroes of the Grid, Legacy Wars, he used it in um, the original Bandai figure had it, so stuff like that. The Heroes for the Grid card lists that as the Phantom Laser, so I would imagine that while we all know it's called the Turbo Navigator, Hasbro is probably like, yeah, that's the Phantom Laser. Do not be surprised when we get the Turbo Navigator here in this figure labeled as the Phantom Laser, even though we're all calling it the Turbo Navigator during this whole tease speculation period because it is what it's called. They're probably just going to refer to it as the Phantom Laser, unless that Phantom, unless the Turbo Navigator tease is for another figure, although I can't see that happening. I'm sure he's going to have this exact blaster that we're all calling the Turbo Navigator that's probably just going to be the Phantom Laser, so... Yeah, I'm very excited for this wave. I'm also hoping that it's a Wave 9 case assortment where it's, you know, 2222 and not 3221, but we'll see what happens with that. Uh, but yeah, I think this is a really solid wave. It completes the ZO for us. It completes the core five in Space Rangers. It gives us Phantom, a very high fan-desired character, and it continues Dino Charge, which we can still get a lot out of that male mold. We can get blue, graphite, aqua, purple, dark, silver. They can still do a lot more with that. And I hope that they do. So um, let me know down in the comments below what do you think of Wave 10. I'm pretty hyped for it. I can't wait to see it. And let's move on to the next story. So our next story is about GameStop pre-orders. So the Pink Ranger capsule of items, you know, the Power Morpher, the helmet, the cell shaded figure, and the MMPR Pink Zeo Pink 2-pack have all had their dates changed on GameStop's website. So originally... They were supposed to have the Pink Ranger helmet and the Pink Ranger Morpher as soon as this upcoming week, July 2nd. No longer. Now the helmet and the Morpher are listed for July 15th. The Pink 2-pack, now they're slated for September 22nd. I believe that the next items to release in the Lightning Collection are the Pink Ranger Morpher and helmet on the 15th, but who knows? Uh, but you know, stuff is coming out all the time here. Who knows when it's all going to actually release. There's pre-orders literally all over the place between now and November for like a hundred million different things. Morphers, helmets, two packs, single releases, metallics, all that stuff. I can't wait for it all to come out, but it's just really confusing because like every store has a different date for it. So. Speaking of stores and pre-orders though, Target has started to ship out the Wave 9 pre-orders they had slated for July 1st. So they're only about a week early on that front, so that's pretty cool. I've been seeing a lot of people get their Wave 9s shipping. I'm waiting for, I bought duplicates of Wave 9 figures that I'm waiting for Target to ship out. I bought a second Tenga, and I bought a second SPD Green to turn into JJ from Soul of the Dragon. So I'm waiting for those to ship out from Target.com. Mine haven't shipped yet, but I have seen a bunch of other people's have already shipped. So uh, yeah, Target.com's Wave 9 pre-orders are shipping. I wonder if that means that maybe Amazon will bump it up from August 1st or something. Pulse still says August 1st, so we're still going to be waiting around for that. It's been about almost two months since Wave 9 has been spotted and released in stores, and the online retailers are finally starting to get around to it. So uh, hopefully people's pre-orders arrive soon rather than later on that front, but Wave 9 is really starting to get out there now. Tom Whalen updated his website this past week again to upload more box artwork for some of the more recent reveals from the Lightning Collection. So he posted his Wave 8 artwork. Uh, so after following his Wave 9 artwork, he went back and did Wave 8. He also uploaded it to the Versus Packs Wave 2 artworks. So the In Space Blue, Psycho Silver, and the Scorpinum MMPR Yellow 2 pack artworks. Those look fantastic. He also uploaded the Zeo Pink and MMPR Pink GameStop 2 pack. And it's really cool to see all of that there. I'm always happy, like I said, that he uploads the stuff on there. And I hope he continues to do it with all the stuff we're getting in the future, uh, like the COGS. And uh, he never uploaded the blue uh, SPD pack from last year, I don't think. So there's that one, the Sentry, Metallic Armors, all of it. There's so much stuff, and I can't wait to see all the artwork and like, the full render of it. So I always love when he does that. We have a Lightning Collection sale that's going on this week. This going on this week, that's what I just said, okay. But we have a sale going on this week for a Lightning Collection item. Now, there were plenty of deals this past week on Amazon for Prime Day. Those have all been done at this point. 
Uh, so there's no reason to talk about them here because you can't get them anymore. But a deal that you still can get is on Walmart.com. They have discounted the Zordon and Alpha 5 2-pack, which was a Walmart exclusive last summer, to now being $17.99 instead of $29.99. So you, with after shipping, you're probably going to be, it's almost like you're going to be getting just a couple of dollars off with like free shipping technically. You're probably going to save like five or six bucks on that maybe. Uh, maybe a little bit more. But hey, you know, it's still something. And it, I don't know how popular that two-pack was. I feel like not a lot of people bought it, but I also feel like it kind of disappeared out of nowhere, so I don't know. But yeah, this two-pack is still up on Walmart.com for the discounted price if you guys would like to get that one if you haven't gotten your hands on it yet. It's a pretty fun set. I definitely do like that release on the line, and I don't really get to, I don't really see it get talked about all that much, but it's a cool one. This thing has really crumbled over the last couple of months. I still just keep using the same thing over and over again. But you know what the tinfoil hat means? It's conspiracy time. So this last story I'm gonna talk about here today could mean nothing. It could be a tease at something. So what I'm referring to is last weekend. So this last weekend, YouTuber, everyone in the fandom knows them, MMPR Toys, Bruno and Mia, uploaded a video about Lightning Collection 3D printed stuff from Design in Case, who makes awesome, fantastic Lightning Collection weapons and Legacy items too. Uh, they did them for the what Legacy figures before Lightning even existed. And so he was doing a video on Design in Case's 3D prints, and he was kind of showcasing off figures holding them. And he showcased off the silver, the Super Silverizer, used by In Space Silver, and it was being held by a blurry figure. Now, obviously, the blurry figure is In Space Silver. There's no question about that. But the question is, we don't have a Lightning Collection in Space Silver yet, so what was going on there? So, obviously there's a lot of different routes that this can go. This is not a confirmed leak or a confirmed first reveal or anything like that of a Lightning Collection in Space Silver. However, I have a couple of questions about this. First of all, it can, it could just be a custom. He didn't say anything about it at all. He didn't bring attention to what he put in that, in that video at all which I'm sure was intentional, but it was blurred. And that's the thing that makes me really confused about it. It was a blurred picture, which of course could just be, it's a custom figure and he blurred it because it's not an official release and he doesn't want people to think like, oh, you know, you know, people like me doing this exact thing right now where I'm reading too much into it. Or it could be a kind of sneak preview at a silver in space figure. Now, obviously, why would just MMPR toys have access to that? He definitely could have access to that. Obviously he was, privy to the knowledge of the COG 2-pack at least a week prior, or at least a couple, yeah, well, yeah, at least a week prior to the PMC reveal because he said exactly what it was going to be uh, in his news video about the Fan First Friday on June 11th. Obviously, he's good friends with Scott Zillner from Power Morphicom. He's been able to reveal things before, but that was mainly during the Bandai uh, era of stuff. So, Bruno has connections. It would not surprise me if he had some kind of way of having a sneak preview of an In Space Silver figure. Now also, In Space Silver is the final member of the team that we still need. I would have to imagine he'll be coming soon-ish. We don't have any listings to back him up. We don't know what silver would be under the current code system with planets and such, because we haven't had a Silver Ranger at all in the Lightning Collection except for Psycho Silver, and that kind of only barely counts. So who knows what's going on with that, but I wanted to bring attention to it because I thought it was interesting and I figured pe more people would continue to send it my way and ask me my opinions on it. I'm 50-50. Before we had the Wave 10 decoding from Amazon Australia, I could have thought maybe it was the identity of BLM Parsec, but now we know that BLM Parsec is a Phantom Ranger. I don't know. We don't have an in-space figure out there that could be identified as that. Now, I've said for a little bit on Twitter, I think In Space Silver could be a perfect candidate for Wave 11. We have no idea what Wave 11 is yet. We don't even know if we have the codes. And the reason why I say we don't know if we have the codes is because they very well could be one of those weird one-word titles from the list of listings 3.0. So until we have more evidence to suggest that they are or are not that, we technically don't have Wave 11 codes right now that we know about. So who knows what Wave 11 would be, but you know it would make sense to include In Space Silver in that wave and just get the team out. And if that was the case, that would be out like around December, so there would be prototypes already ready to go, or, or at least being worked on or something to where Bruno could theoretically have a, 
you know, sneak preview of it. I just, I don't know if I would see Hasbro doing that. It could, like I said, literally just be a custom. It could be a Photoshop even of In Space Red or something holding it. But just the fact that it was there and the fact that it was blurred was interesting because he didn't have to include it and do either one of those things. So, who knows? Right. Yeah, that's all I got. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time on the next episode of Lightning Storm where lightning always strikes twice.